Hey folks, I'm Scott Carter. I'm here with my colleague Chris Harry. We're inside the O-Dome. We're on Friday night. It's going to be Florida State, Florida basketball style. And uh, Chris, both teams come into the game 5-1. and one. Florida finally got point guard Scotty Wilbicom back on Monday night in a win over in Jacksonville against Jacksonville uh, University. Obviously, he had some different looks to this team. What did you see uh, from Scotty in his first game back? More than anything else with Scotty, you see experience. I mean, this isn't an uh, indictment or a slam at anything at, at, at Casey Hill, who was playing very, very well as a freshman point guard before he turned his ankle the week before. But Scotty Wilbicom has played over 100 games for this team. He started over 30 games for this team. And these, he's a senior, and these guys trust him to get them into positions, space them out on the court, run the break, run the offense fine guys. He was really, really good at finding Michael Frazier open for three-pointers, and Frazier hit his first five three-pointers the other night. Really got them going well against Jacksonville. Scotty Wilbekin seems like a completely different player. Offensively, he's the same defensive menace that he has been the last few years. Huge, huge return a guy for the Gators going forward in this. During Wilbekin's absence, one guy who wasn't having a problem finding the basket was uh, Casey Prather. I mean, he almost looks like a, a different player than we've seen the first three years. Just, can you talk about what you've seen out of Casey so far? Yeah, and he didn't have any problem finding the basket with, with Scotty Wilbekin yeah. either. He had 27 points. He's, he's had games with 27, 27, and 29. He's the first, he's one of three Gators under Billy Donovan to score at least 27 points three times. I mean, that's pretty amazing for this guy who just a couple years ago was really struggling with his confidence with the ball in his hands, but now what these coaches are saying is Casey Prather has a real awareness of the player he is. He doesn't try to do stuff that he can't do, doesn't try to force issues. He's just using his athleticism to basically out-athlete a lot of people, and he's playing really, really well, and he's a great fit into this up-tempo kind of style that Billy Donovan wants to play. On Saturday over in the Swamp, uh, we're going to see the Florida State football team, which I think a lot of people know about this year. Still early in the season for basketball. I mean, Florida State comes in 5-1. and one. What can you just tell us about the symbols in the early season? Well, Florida State absolutely crushed Virginia Commonwealth last week in a tournament in Puerto Rico. They were up in the second half by 30 points. I guarantee you Billy Donovan has gotten with Shaka Smart a little bit to talk about what happened there. But they got some pretty good guards in Ian, Millen, Ian Miller and Devin Bookert who can fill it up a little bit. That'll be up to Scotty Wilbekin to stop those guys. They're long and they're athletic. They'll be a very, very good matchup for Florida. But what's really good about this team, it's kind of a springboard this game against Florida State because in three days they're at Connecticut. Uh, a week after that, Florida welcomes Kansas in here and Andrew Wiggins, the number one freshman in the country. And a week after that, Florida, Florida plays in Madison, Madison Square Garden against Memphis in a neutral site game in the Jimmy V Classic. So you're talking about maybe the toughest four-game non-conference run in the country this season. That's, that's, that's a nice feather in the cap for the people who put together the schedule over there in Billy's office. Yeah, I think after hearing that run, I mean, nobody can say the Gators have a schedule a tough non-conference uh, slate this season. Obviously, Florida State is one of those teams on that schedule. They come to town Friday night for uh, Chris Harry. I'm Scott Carter. Thanks for joining us.